I was evicted when I was 14. We were kicked off the island. We couldn't live in Hawaii. Had no place to live. Let me just speak from the heart, speak from my gut, and really not have anything prepared, but just tell you what's worked for me. And maybe some of the stuff that's worked for me might work for you. Now, currently, presently, as you guys have your goals and ambitions, NBA championship, MVPs in this room, things like that, but then further on down the line. Dwayne Johnson, the most eye-opening speech you'll ever hear. You've got your sights set on being MVPs in this room, and you're doing all you can to get it. There are a lot of things like this that you've heard from the time when we were small boys. However, we also know that you've heard the idea and the notion of being anything and doing whatever you want from when you were a kid. When you've already achieved great success, you're told this. You may earn the MVP award in the NBA Finals. It's up to you whether you want to be president or governor. If you want it, you can get it. The world could use your talents. Both Charles and Shaq might be done. You're the one who does it. You have the freedom to do anything you like. Do you know all that Dwayne's secret to success has been to recall the bad times? So, because we're not certain that everyone follows the same procedure, we'll share what worked for him. When Dwayne was a professional wrestler, he would always have a major match at the WrestleMania before the release of a blockbuster movie. He'd always take a breather to assure himself that everything would be okay. When he was 14, he and his family were expelled from the island. Without a home, they couldn't live in Hawaii. Many things transpired when he went to Nashville, including several arrests. He had reached the age of 16 when he realized what a valuable asset he would be to this squad if he were to join. What does that mean exactly? So despite having never played a game, they will all fix their gaze on the Staples Center before he even puts on his shoes or steps foot on the floor to participate in these historic games. When Dwayne declared that he would remember it, he could be fully present and appreciate what he had at the time. When he was a youngster, he wished for something like this. A former player at the University of Miami, he faced some top competition, Sap Warren. They were Ray Lewis teammates. So you can be that great person you think of as your ideal person. You need to stay focused, look back at the hard times, and start doing, and you will be successful. You guys continue to live your life. The first thing I would just want to say is this idea and this notion that you can be anything you want, and you can accomplish anything you want, right? We hear that. You've heard that from the time you were little boys. You hear that now. You're already incredibly accomplished. You can win an NBA championship, MVP of the league, you could become president, you could become governor, you could be in entertainment, you could do Charles, and you could do Shaq, you could do that, you could do whatever you wanna do. You guys know that. The thing that has worked for me is to remember the hard times. And I'm sure you guys all have your processes, and again, I'm gonna tell you what's worked for me. So before a big movie comes out, before, back in the days when I was wrestling with WWE, a WrestleMania match, anything big that would happen, I would always take a moment and I'd just remind myself. I was evicted when I was 14. We were kicked off the island, we couldn't live in Hawaii, had no place to live. A lot of shit happened then when I moved to Nashville, I was arrested multiple times by the time I was 16 years old. I gotta remember that. If I were playing on this team, what's that term? Oh, the shits. But before I lace up, before I get on the court, before I play in these big games, before I go to the Staples Center, where history is there, those are, I would remember that. And it allows me then to be present in the moment and understand, holy shit, this, this stuff I have around me right now. This is the shit that I dreamed of when I was a kid. I am here. I played for University of Miami, played for great teams. Warren Sapp, Ray Lewis, they were my teammates. They were balling. Warren Sapp was playing tight end at that time. I was starting defensive tackle. They moved him over to D-line. And he looked at me, he's like, yo, dude, I'm gonna take your spot. I said, you ain't taking my spot. He said, I'm gonna take your spot. We battled, and he took my spot. Now, you can imagine how that, because there goes my opportunity. He went in, switched the defensive tackle, lit the world on fire. Well, what that did, it crushed me, it crushed my dreams. I had a piss poor senior year, zero production, no NFL, no combine invite, nothing. Finally went to the CFL, Calgary Stampeders, making $250 a week Canadian. Canadian. I had to send that shit home to my wife at that time. I had no money. So I remember that. I got cut from Canada. I had seven bucks in my pocket. And I always tell that story. So now my production company is seven bucks, advertising agency is seven bucks, everything is seven bucks. So I always remember that. What helps me is to keep the hard times in the front of my mind. This allows me to go into these big moments that I've worked my ass off, and you guys have worked your ass off. It allows me to go into these big moments with a different perspective. Also does for me, and again, this, just, this is what works for me. 
I keep my back, excuse my language, my back is up against this every day. It's against, excuse my language, my syndrome, but it's up against this because it's what I believe in. And when my back is against this, then there's nowhere to go. But that way. So I feel like this could be something, an ideology and mindset that could help you if you look at it that way. Because you made it already. We made it. We're successful boys, and we're lucky boys to be where we're at. Well, you guys made it. Everybody's rich in the room. Nobody's gonna get evicted anymore. Anything you got, there's no more money problems, right? You got a lot of hands out now. Hey, can I get a little bit? Can I get a little bit? Right, that happens. But when you make it, for me, I need this. I need this. So every day, my back is up against this, and this is how I operate. Doesn't mean you don't smile. Doesn't mean you don't laugh and joke right? You're happy. I'm happy. I'm a happy guy. But when it comes to business and when it comes to executing, it's up against this. And I got to go that way.